As we know, in France, food is a religion. So it's no real surprise that Provençal rosé is amazing for pairing. Mediterranean sardines, fresh fish with garlic, bouillabaisse, dishes with olives and herbs, and of course the local staple, garlicky peppery aioli. All of these become surreal when paired up with a racy, tangy, and herbaceous rosé. So let's take some of those ingredients, we'll deconstruct them, and then reassemble them in two very different but simple ways. My first dish is going to be a play on a very popular sandwich from the region known as pan bagnet. Both of today's dishes rely on that famous Provençal aioli, so we're going to take four cloves of garlic and pulverize them in a mortar and pestle. Add to that a half cup of olive oil, one full egg and one yolk, and the juice from half of a lemon. Season and whisk it until it becomes nice and creamy. Thinly slice a red onion, hothouse or heirloom tomatoes, for a tangy zing, some cornichon, hard-boiled egg, and salted anchovies. This is everything we need to start building our sandwich. I'm using an Italian panini-style bread. Start with a nice slathering of that aioli, and the rest is pretty basic. I'm putting my tomatoes down first, hard-boiled eggs next, anchovies, cornichon, onions, and then topping with arugula. And I finish it off with a little fresh thyme. And if you really want to pay homage to the traditional pan bagnette, give that sandwich plenty of time for all those juices to soak into that roll. My second dish is a Mediterranean pasta that uses some of that famous Provençal aioli as a base. Let's start by getting some pasta water going. And while we're waiting, we're gonna oil up some cherry tomatoes and blacken them under the broiler. Dice up some olives. You can use black olives if you prefer. A Little more red onion. By this point, the pasta water should be ready and those tomatoes nice and blackened. As your pasta is cooking, reserve about a cup of that water. Now before the pasta is completely cooked, we're gonna drain it and transfer it over to an oiled saucepan. Add your reserve water back in and raise the heat to medium. Slowly add about a quarter cup of that aioli and make sure that you keep stirring it so that it doesn't curdle. As the mixture emulsifies, add your olives, tomatoes, and your red onions giving that mixture a few more minutes to cook. When it's ready to plate, I'm gonna to top it with some fresh fried pancetta for an additional crunch and for some saltiness too. And finish it off with some fresh sage. If it grows together, it goes together. When in doubt about pairing wine with food, always look to the local fare for hints on ingredients to use in the dish that you're making. So now we have the background on these rosé wines. We have some food pairings to go with them. If you're feeling really savvy at this point and ready to dive in, get your set at WTSO.com and be sure to reserve your spot to join us for our exclusive live tasting that's going to happen in just a couple of weeks. Thanks so much for joining me today. I can't wait to see you there. A Sante.